Top-notch artist. Are they going back to Calypso as opposed to Kaiso? No, we're not going back to um, Calypso as much. Um, but the soca is right. They, we, have, we have slowed the soca down. Mm-hmm. And it's more of a groovy soca now. And it's, it has a little bit of the old feeling, you know, the old 80s, 90s feeling again somewhat, you know. Uh, but I don't think we ever going to go back as like traditional Calypso as, as it was, you know. You know. But um, but the, we have some, a lot of new energies in the music, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's, it's really um, looking good. Um, well, I was born in Trinidad, so okay. I kind of grow into you know the folk music. I uh, always had a passion for music, so it started when I was maybe about seven. And I heard my first Denise Balboa song. I fell in love with folk after that. So it's just something that's in me. Do you ever play man? I played mass when I was like 11. Um, Firebird Productions came into effect about three years ago. And basically, we are a very small organization that we want to give the Caribbean community a boost, at least here in Baltimore. Um, I have been bringing out a band for the past three years under Firebird Productions. So we're now coming in to ourselves where we are doing pretty costume. So, I'm learning. So, that's all I can say about it right now. I'm learning. Okay, so you haven't been doing this before three years ago? Um, I used to do it under another label, okay. but we did t-shirts. Mm-hmm. So, this is actually my first, you know, chance to really bring out the pretty costumes with the feathers and, you know, the glitter and glitz. How does that represent the Caribbean? Well, being an island girl myself, I want other people out there to see what we're about. I want for them to get a chance to experience carnival. So, you know, um, not only do I do the carnival, you know, we participate in the breast cancer walk, we do some other little things around, so, you know. So Firebird Productions is an all year round operation? Is yes. That so, apart from this upcoming carnival, what is the biggest thing that you're going to do for the carnival itself? <laughs> that, participate in the carnival. So, uh, that's about be, it. Are you personally going to be one of the queens in here? Not a queen, but, you know, a participating member. What would you be doing? I'm going to be jumping up on the road and misbehaving like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do besides design? Uh, is there anything else you do that is Caribbean style? Um, well, I cook. Very well. So part of raising funds to participate in the car, um, the festival, is I have a dinner every month, once a month, and we call it Taste of the Caribbean. And you know, people come and they buy food and help me. You know. Where is this held? East Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> East Baltimore. At your house? Yes, at my house. Okay. So, uh, so the next one is going to be when? The 27th of April. Okay. And uh, you invite the public to your house? <laughs> yeah. How many people do you normally have there? Um, usually, I would say I use, uh, about 100 people usually come through. What are the dishes then? Curry chicken, jerk chicken, fried catfish, peas and rice, stir fry vegetables, potato salad, fried plantain, you know, the basic stuff. How is this working with the American audience? Well, as a matter of fact, the American people are the ones who come in and buy most of the food. <laughs> Strangely enough, it's the Americans that really, you know, help me in this venture right now. Well, let's talk about carnival in, in, in Baltimore. How do you feel about that? Love it, love it, love it. Um, I've been here for over 30 years, and I've been playing or spectating or now that I'm bringing out bands for most of that time. So I would say approximately a um, good 25 years or so, you know, so. So uh, you love to play mass? Yes. Yeah. Once you play, you never go back. Once you start playing mass, you could never go back. Do you have uh, other people who are not born in the Caribbean who come out with you? Yes. Every year, we're getting more and more and more Americans coming in and wanting to participate. Again, once you play, you don't ever want to go back. So I have folks that did it last year for the first time. They signed up. The day after the carnival, they called me up and say, so when's the next? What are we coming out with? So, you know, 
So what do you expect for this carnival coming up? Um, again, we're a small band, mm -hmm. so we have approximately about 80, 85 people. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get a few more before July the 13th. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm just ready to have fun. Thank you. You're welcome.